Good morning everyone this is Vishwanath and today in this video I'm going to show you how to play against a Sicilian defense from white side. Today in this video uh, I'm going to cover all of the Sicilian major lines. So Sicilian E4, C5. So the main idea of Sicilian uh, is to prevent the control of the D4 square. Knight f3 and let us start with d6. So here uh, the common reply for uh, d6 is to play d4. So most of the attacking players uh, will opt for d4. There are some other lines like c3 and knight c3 and also bishop b5. But these are uh, like uh, positional players will mostly like uh, these ideas of c3 bishop b5 okay so d4 so directly challenging the center where if he captures uh, i can capture with the knight so c into d4 is a normal reply if not c into d4 he might try something like knight f6 also which is equally good but not knight c6 because d5 is my idea of playing uh, of attacking the knight so c into d4 knight into d4 knight f6 attacking the pawn on e4 knight c3 developing a piece and also defending the e4 so here uh, we have two important moves uh, mainly you can see one is uh, g6 which will convert to sicilian dragon and other is a6 which is highly popular and this is uh, this may convert to Najdorf, Scavenger, uh, Richard Rogers, so many other lines okay so e6 is also playable but uh, e6 we have so many attacking lines like g4 that we will see okay let us uh, start with dragon Sicilian dragon g6 so for g6 the most uh, popular and reputed move is for white is to play bishop e3 you can try something like bishop g5 but uh, we strongly recommend to play bishop e3 so that bishop is uh, more active even in the queen side you might ask uh, something like knight g4 but knight g4 is a mistake because of bishop b5 check black should uh, simply defend this check knight c6 simply loses after knight into c6 and uh, bishop d7 uh, bishop d7 loses the knight on g4 because of the pin on the king so there is no knight g4 so bishop g7 f3 so f3 is not only preventing the e4 pawn and which also stops knight g4 and I am preparing to play something like g4 in the future so that I can uh, start attack, some kind of attack on the king side if black castles on the short side so, so f3 is a very nice prophylactic move castle and queen d2 so remember this uh, dragon line I am teaching with white for only for attacking players so for positional players uh, I will do one more late, well later, one more video later. So, okay, so queen d2, knight c6. Okay, so here we have some options, uh, some three major options. Most of us uh, will see bishop b4, bishop d7, rook c8, and uh, bishop b3 after knight uh, c4, bishop into c4, giving up this bishop to maintain these two. Uh, queen on d2 and bishop on e3 that is one major line and the second one is to play g4 which is more interesting uh, g4 uh, here uh, bishop c4 is played uh, in view of to stop d5 break black is now strongly threatening to play d5 so bishop c4 uh, is a major line to prevent d4 or d5 so if g4 he cannot play d5 so this is some called some kind of tricky position to confuse the dragon players so after g4 
uh, I'm threatening uh, to play g5 if he plays d5 so d5 immediately is not possible let us see g4 g4 so if he plays d5 I have g5 to drive this knight then I can grab this pawn for free so for this uh, black can play bishop e6 knight into d4 is also possible that is a very small line bishop e6 and knight into e6 f into e6 long castle knight to e5 gaping, gapping some space advantage and also attacking the f2 pawn bishop e2 rook c8 and here we prefer uh, queen c8 the most instead of rook c8 but let us see rook c8 which looks very logical to occupy the c4 square for the knight and uh, after rook c8 we have knight b5 which is uh, very interesting to come uh, knight d4 and to control the to capture the e6 pawn so a6 knight d4 queen d7 and uh, here uh, king b1 so this so far uh, this all the mo opening moves are uh, well played and uh, in this the position is uh, clearly better for white because of this uh, weakness on this uh, e6 and white king is uh, pretty safe the game might continue like something like b5 maybe or d5 black uh, uh, soon will have some problems with uh, sorry f4 some break like f5 or g5 okay so here we can leave the position and we can say clearly white is better okay so let us come back so g4 is uh, one good way of option to play and if you do castling in this position black might play d5 and uh, here uh, one might get some doubt like yeah what happens if i take this one this one sorry uh, knight into then knight c6 b6 knight d5 uh, yeah c d5 queen d5 queens are getting exchanged or else the rook is lost so and white might be better but uh, there is a very strong continuation after you take uh, uh, for example e into d5 knight into d5 knight into c6 b into c6 knight into d5 c into d5 queen into d5 you might think like this is winning because queens is now forced to exchange but black has a very good move he'll simply ignore the threat and play queen c7 and after this move white feels like uh, he's getting some advantage but uh, bishop f5 threatening checkmate and also queen in attack on the a8 so queen into rook is forced and king into the moves like rook d2 so after this move uh, some theory says uh, white might try b for a good chance but uh, i seriously recommend this position is very good for black because the rooks uh, i don't think rooks are, are more powerful than queen here queen is uh, very very good here and the only concern i need to have is to save this king that's it so if i can do that the breaks like a uh, few moves like a5 a4 a3 will definitely uh, make this king in a bad position okay so let us come back and see some other variation okay so after d5 e takes d5 and uh, knight captures d5 knight into c6 b into c6 here there is a very interesting move bishop to d4 okay so after bishop d4 so you don't need to capture this one bishop into d4 is uh, is definitely better for white because after dragon bishop is gone people might know how to attack the king's structure and this this threaten will be very very strong uh, if the bishop is gone 
so there is an exchange sacrifice in this uh, variation after bishop into d4 black play e5 it's a very very good move just gaining one extra move bishop c5 and if i move the rook uh, knight e4 uh, and knight d6 and i feel like white is clearly better so just ignore this rook and play bishop e6 play from some counter chances and bishop into f8 uh, bishop into f8 queen into f8 gaining one additional move for the rook also for uh, attacking on the both uh, pinned piece queen and king knight into d5 c into d5 and king b1 e4 opening up all the diagonals for both the bishops and also for the rooks so this position is definitely better even though the black is having an exchange down so the best way after uh, playing bishop c5 is not to capture the rook on uh, f8 here so just uh, ignore that bishop e6 uh, we can play knight e4 we don't need to capture the rook on f8 so knight e4 anyhow he is forced to move the rook rook e8 then you might try something like h4 which maintains the slight advantage for white h4 h6 and uh, we can say h5 g5 creating some weaknesses and uh, yeah c4 is getting this knight away from this d5 square and once might move somewhere i can play queen e1 uh, keeping the pressure on so this position should be for slightly better for white in view of uh, better piece playment and uh, also having a good uh, advantage in the centers okay so uh, <coughs> so we can try even the uh, lo doing long castle and after uh, this move long castle uh, d5 most of them most of the theoreticians says uh, position uh, is equal and uh, i don't see any equal variation with white pieces even though i can try something like long castle uh, bishop c4 is a main line but uh, seriously i don't know why people just simply waste two extra tempos uh, just to prevent the d5 so after bishop c4 uh, anyhow he is going to play bishop d7 rook c8 knight e5 bishop comes to b3 sorry bishop comes to b3 followed the knight jumps to the c4 bishop into c4 so we need to just waste two extra moves so that i i don't like actually the main line bishop c4 but let us see that one now so uh, here if you do long castle we saw d5 ed5 once again uh, knight d5 knight into c6 here if you have a doubt of capturing uh, bishop into c3 i'll just clarify for you bishop into c3 is a mistake because of uh, queen into d5 and now if it takes this uh, queen i have knight e7 check followed by knight into queen so i'm i'm having an extra piece okay so let us come to the main variation after knight c6 coming to the bishop c4 so bishop c4 uh, we have two important moves one is uh, bishop d7 and now bishop e6 is also not possible so and the second one is uh, knight e5 and seriously knight into d4 is not a good option for uh, black because the plus equal position will definitely maintain here okay so so let us uh, continue with bishop d7 the main continuation where every gm's place long castle rook c8 i'm going to move the bishop to b3 knight to e5 now king b1 and uh, yeah so here uh, so we have many number of options one a6 and rook e8 is one more option and uh, knight c4 is one more option and queen a5 is also tried but uh, this is very less very rare 
and a uh, few players even tried b5 also but i don't think b5 is uh, not a big problem for white so let us try with rook e8 the main point of this move is uh, when i have something like uh, knight d5 i don't need to be worried about the e7 anymore even if i capture or just leave and play something like queen a5 the e7 pawn will be under support okay so rook e8 uh, we'll start our attack h4 h5 the only the only good try to stop g4 but even though white still plays g4 h into g4 and h5 so this is a clear weakness because of uh, bishop h6 and followed by queen coming to the g5 square with two open files for both the rooks this definitely should be losing for black okay coming back uh, so if he captures knight into h5 uh, the main continuation you can simply play bishop h6 and bishop f6 i can play knight d5 attacking the bishop g into f3 sorry let us try a5 g into f3 is uh, one good option a5 f g4 bishop g4 rook d g1 attacking the bishop rook c5 knight into f6 g e into f6 queen f2 so this is the major line now queen f2 prevents the d5 because i'm indirectly attacking the rook and this is so logical to stop something like uh, knight f3 attack so after queen f2 i feel white is uh, clearly better i don't see any clear uh, attacking chances for black let us try by pushing pawn by a5 sorry b5 i'll simply move a3 and a4 and bishop a2 now the attack is completely diluted uh, white is clearly better in this position okay so any other changes uh, in this opening i'll just update it uh, in in my channel okay so so rook e8 is very easy to handle so let us try a6 a6 uh, is some interesting line i'll just uh, i don't know how we can stop the same idea of uh, same idea of attacking h5 knight into h5 and uh, here we have a rook rook dg1 rook dg1 or bishop h6 anything both are uh, equally strong but rook dg1 is a line and e6 bishop in bishop h6 mm, queen f6 a very good defensive idea bishop into oh sorry f into g4 f into g4 bishop into h6 queen into h6 now queen g7 queen e3 or queen d2 both are playable now knight f6 and g5 so this position uh, according to theory the position says equal but if you keep trying uh, with white pieces i'll definitely suggest white is uh, somewhat better than black because of uh, safe king uh, there there are some some kinds of tactical chances once if you try to uh, make this knight on h5 move somewhere we have a very good uh, counter chances rook rook double i don't know but here uh, the attack on the queen side is uh, completely useless like b5 b4 i just move my knight somewhere like knight e2 and uh, i don't see any other attack apart from that playing a5 a4 also i can deal with a3 or i can i even play directly a4 without coming this move before coming this move so definitely uh, i will say this position is having equal chances for both the players okay so a6 is one good option and uh, rook e8 okay so 
So instead of uh, knight e5, uh, some players might try knight into d4 also. Just let us just look about that. Knight into d4, bishop into d4, b5. Straight into attack. So those who have attacking ideas might like this plan of uh, capturing knight into d4 followed by b5. Then here uh, white is also equally strong. You don't want to lose any moves. So he'll try knight d5, knight into d5, bishop into g7, king into g7, bishop into d5. And yeah, this is definitely having a equal chances for both the players h4 yeah but line ends after uh, a5 here so b5 a5 and uh, bishop into d5 now king g yeah okay so this is also uh, equal I can say this position is also mostly equal both the players have their own chances one might consider like uh, this king is pretty weak but uh, I don't feel really even black has his own resources to defend because there is only one piece uh, one minor piece on the board uh, it is pretty hard to attack this king or else if you have some two pieces more like a bishop or a knight then this is uh, definitely better for white okay so let us come back okay so bishop e3 bishop g7 f3 castles queen d2 and c6 And the other moves like uh, bishop e2, these are uh, very bad in fact, of uh, instead of uh, bishop to c4, g4 or long castle. So these three are the main options I would definitely like to suggest. So remaining anything you can consider as a dubious move or something less than that or maybe a mistake okay so this is about uh, sicilian dragon i'm just checking whether if i miss any other lines okay so we might uh, missed uh, so the queen f5 uh, variation that queen f5 variation uh, the famous rook into c3 sacrifices will come so let us see that one rook c8 in this position bishop b3 knight e5 king b1 and now i think uh, queen a5 so queen a5 let us say h4 n c4 bishop c4 rook c4 and h5 here uh, knight into h4 g4 knight here one second yes yeah, so here uh, black might have captured rook into c3 that is one interesting option but I don't feel uh, anything interesting in this uh, sacrifice rook into c3 the problem with this queen into c3 uh, I feel like it's good compensation queen into c3 let us say queen into c3 queen into c3 b into c3 now knight into h5 this should definitely black should uh, have some counterplay because uh, even the white is having a clear exchange up uh, there are no big open files for the rooks to do, dominate the position so White also should struggle somewhat uh, to get any kinds of advantage. And there is no immediate attack. Something if you try like uh, g4, knight goes back uh, to f6. And now I don't see any plans. There are few moves where you can find some attacking ideas. But uh, that doesn't really help anything. 
so here knight b3 attacking the pawn and uh, even this pawn is not really important i'll just play bishop to b5 hitting uh, once this if i get the, all these pawns then rook h2 then maybe b6 or uh, i can even might try something like uh, knight d7 which is far more uh, aggressive than the move so and uh, yeah something like so if you try to exchange bishop d4 um, yes h6 bishop into g7 king into g7 and knight d4 bishop a4 so the position is very much equal i don't see any kind of uh, advantage with white pieces black is simply having a very very dominant piece in the so instead of uh, going for rook, rook c3 queen c3 I, I found a very interesting combination here uh, rook c3 here i can play directly h6 so which is a line here actually so for after h6 bishop can't hide to h8 then i take the queen c3 so this, there is a small difference between in this position and that position that now the pawn on h6 is really dangerous and now you see yes this position should be okay for white now because there is no uh, there is no real attack here black cannot do anything so after h6 i'll definitely feel like white is better so h6 uh, if i move the sorry if i move the rook back something like rook c5 h into g7 uh, rook f c8 then b4 should be winning so if you don't want to play so complicatedly something like c3 also will do the job or else if you just want to exchange the queens also it is equal so queen into queen is simply rook into and for those who want to try for a draw this is not so accurate but this will lead in a position where right can easily hold the position and for a draw okay so if you try for an advantage uh, c3 or b4 which is so nice here. b4 queen b6 uh, and knight b3 just attacking the rook rook into c2 uh, bishop into b6 and rook into d2 rook into knight into d2 a into b6 uh, rook c1 rook into c1 rook into c1 this gives a clear open file for the white's rook so it, i feel like this is advantage for white even if he plays bishop to b3 bishop to c6 uh, the most like uh, b5 will definitely open the rook file so i'm not worried at all so just immediately I can start playing by a4 also bishop into a4 will just give the entry point for my rook rook c7 bring all the pawns ok so so rook c3 uh, h6 is uh, very interesting rook c5 h into g7 uh, should be better for uh, white so yeah queen a5 uh, and uh, yes okay so queen a5 instead of queen a5 queen a5 we have seen right queen a5 h4 uh, knight e5 king b1 yes knight c4 bishop c4 rook c4 and h5 so h5 uh, there is one more option rook fc8 you can directly play 
rook f c8 so in one game uh, anatoly karpo tried uh, knight d e2 without allowing uh, any sacrifices on the c3 but that's too passive here so you can directly play knight b3 and uh, yes so queen a6 h into g6 f into g6 not clearly h into g6 then g4 bishop e6 and bishop d4 not allowing any kinds of trick and also this bishop and knight is also tied down for the defense so let us say bishop to f7 g5 knight h5 and bishop into g7 knight king into g7 then f4 so white should be better in this position because of the safe king versus the king which is not having much differences so ch chances of white is always better even in this position so if you try something like uh, b5 uh, white simply can start pressuring with f5 and if you play b4 uh, he can directly play knight d5 to close the bishop directly. and rook into e4 is a big mistake because i'll simply take knight e7 threatening f6 check and now also the attack on the rook okay so let us go back so rook c3 is a uh, uh, pretty rare uh, I can say like if you play some mistakes in the opening only by that time uh, black might get chance of taking rook into c3 in a regular line you don't get rook into c3 okay so this is about uh, Sicilian dragon I hope you enjoy this if you have any doubts in this dragon variation if you have any uh, if you want to analyze any games or uh, you have any doubts in your opening preparation just feel free to contact me I'll just update you uh, with, with the latest information okay so now uh, we are going to see yeah the most uh, interesting but the N sub line it's a e6 variation so e6 so for those who want to attack uh, they'll definitely play g4 so this will lead into so many tactical variations just make yourself uh, comfortable and just watch this video okay so uh, once uh, if someone uh, is playing more like e6 so um, you should play g4 only but if you prepare well because they are lot of traps in this opening see immediately the move like e5 is very tempting so if he plays e5 trying to attack this one there is an intermediate move now bishop b5 check now this something should block this one now the knight jumps to the f5 square for example say bishop d7 bishop into d7 queen into d7 is forced because if you take knight into d7 knight f5 uh, should waste one more uh, tempo to defend the d6 so queen into d6 queen into d7 knight f5 and yeah so here uh, you can try something like uh, h5 h5 i can't push g5 because knight into e4 knight into g7 that will be another different line so g into h5 and yeah for example let us uh, see g5 uh, g5 knight takes uh, e4 knight takes g7 bishop takes g7 knight takes uh, here i think this is equal position because after d5 uh, knight should retreat to a very bad square like uh, save g3 and yeah this is definitely equal and if you throw this knight to f6 yeah this is 
simply better for black because of uh, very strong center points okay so there is uh, so after uh, th there is a small difference so gene to h5 has a small difference here after gene to h5 he can't take uh, this one knight into because it's a trap again knight into knight into g7 bishop into g7 and knight into e4 now there is no more uh, d5 because of h6 attacking the bishop and bishop can't take the h6 pawn because knight f6 4 loses the queen so rook h6 simply bishop into and i'll be in exchange up after exchanging the queens and then i can take the bishop on g7 with a clear advantage position so if you have uh, so i might try something like d5 h6 uh, taking this one you can't take this one and yeah queen into d7 knight into d7 taking this rook g8 and rook g1 with definitely a better chances for white okay so coming back mm, okay so so if someone captures uh, knight into d7 let us consider that also this is also very interesting knight f5 and knight c5 keeping the pressure on this e4 and bishop g5 for those who want to play attacking chess bishop g4 and after bishop g4 i guess this game is uh, played by one of my students so he tried something yeah bishop e7 and uh, lost the game after knight into g7 okay so instead of that g6 is a normal try so after g6 uh, so here we have some multiple options uh, i can say like uh, moves like uh, f4 is so nice f4 g into f5 i'll take f into sorry f into e5 and uh, yes uh, if you take this i'll just exchange the queens and take this one and wow this position is so nice knight c4 bishop into f6 knight into f6 yes <coughs> knight into f6 uh, e into f6 queen into f6 and castles which which is looks so annoying here to make this queen pin and what is this king but still i believe this position is definitely plus equal okay so there are a lot of other tactics uh, even like f4 is uh, seen just now instantly but there are chances like bishop into f4 bishop into f6 and knight is knight e3 is a regular line here but bishop f6 is also quite playable let us see knight e3 now after knight e3 uh, bishop e7 i don't want to make this uh, queen under pin for such a long time so my in intention is to do castling so queen e2 oh sorry queen uh, e2 queen e2 preparing for long castle a6 uh, which also stops uh, some ideas of queen b5 but i'm not intend to play that queen e2 and now i can start uh, something like h4 knight e6 and then long castle white should be definitely clearly better in this position if it takes uh, knight into g5 yes this knight on f6 now don't have a proper square now so it should go to d7 and yeah this is simply better i'll just double the rooks and i'll just uh, take the pawn on h7 so let us say bishop into g5 and rook into d6 queen c7 rook d1 so this you just need to continue this opening uh, this variation and definitely why it should be better after uh, having so many weaknesses in the black's position okay coming back uh, 
so where we are yeah so knight c5 bishop to g5 and g6 yes let us see knight uh, yeah we saw knight e3 bishop e7 queen f okay so knight uh, bishop e7 now not queen okay queen f3 uh, knight e6 bishop f6 bishop f6 and long castle so just uh, this is also slight okay sorry so this is slightly better because of uh, some weaknesses and my king position is much safe than the black's king and also white's attack on the king side is very very clear i don't see any anything that can stop this uh, h4 and h5 break okay just okay so yeah if you try to stop something like uh, bishop h4 then i just wait for some time how long you can keep the bishop on to h4 square and yeah this is this should be better for white okay so let us stop this variation of uh, yeah so this is all about uh, just e5 i have many other options like uh, so after g4 uh, the main variation of uh, is to play stop the g5 oops is to stop the g5 so black will play this one and after h6 h4 not really intended to play h5 because uh, this is now going but i just want to play the rook g1 to play g5 so meanwhile black tries to uh, pressure the center this one rook here and now here comes a very nice move that is d5 so the best way when some opponent is attacking on the flank side is to open the center this is a theoretical point uh, where you have to remember not only in this opening in any opening uh, any structures when your opponent is uh, attacking on the flank side or just playing any weak moves just try to open the center they definitely will get a better in the middle thing so d5 is a good try yes e into d5 so here we have again knight into d5 and knight into d5 so e into d5 and queen into d5 these two are playable so let us start with queen into d5 so queen into d5 now again we have three options one is to support take this and just to move bishop and attack the queen so let us uh, start with the easy one knight into c6 again we can have three options queen into c6 and uh, b into or queen into d1 so let us start with queen into d1 king into d1 b into c6 now most of us yeah we will think yes this is wow bishop should support then this bishop is very good but that's completely wrong here bishop d3 i don't want this bishop to just make this turn to attack i want my rook to come into the game very fast so bishop g2 is somewhat little slow i just want to bake king e1 uh, sorry king e2 bishop e3 connect both the rooks and this should be better for white so queen into queen is definitely better for white so if i play queen into c6 uh one more variation so queen into c6 uh, yes queen d4 or even bishop e3 looks equally strong queen d4 bishop to g7 bishop to d3 queen c7 and yes so bishop e3 preventing the obvious bishop c5 and uh, yeah i can say the position is slightly better there are many options like queen a5 check uh, queen a5 check e5 is also playable uh, bishop d6 is also playable i think i feel like bishop d6 so e5 and queen e4 bishop c6 and queen c4 this should be equal 
position is equal but i don't know there are some changes we need to do so far uh, before playing queen d4 the position should be better for white okay maybe queen d4 i should play properly with uh, queen to somewhere like i don't know so bishop e3 is uh, the second option bishop e3 bishop e7 queen e2 preparing castling on the king side but here comes bishop b4 check now this is bishop d2 and this is bishop into d2 yes this is this is clearly equal position there is no chances for uh, white okay so after uh, queen d5 knight c6 we saw uh, queen c6 now let us see b into c6 so after b into c6 definitely not queen into d5 to connect the pawns on the d5 so i'll just play bishop e3 bishop e7 queen d4 very important to maintain the pressure so if we place bishop f6 to attack the queen now 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 queen a4 so this is so annoying now the idea is bishop g2 into c6 and also very very strong now you are forced to move the queen forced to hide the queen in fact queen d6 and queen c7 or else bishop g2 wins the game on spot so queen d6 uh, c3 closing this bishop diagonal is also equally important yeah if he takes bishop into h4 no problem just i'll play rook h1 followed by g5 bishop to e7 and then g5 okay so we can just uh, stop this one because the white is definitely having more attacking options here so the moves like uh, rook d1 is also possible bishop g2 is possible and yes so it should be definitely better here so we have three options in the c into d5 sorry knight into d5 let us consider with e into d5 now e into d5 and uh, definitely bishop e3 blocking the isolated pawn so bishop e7 g5 h into g5 h into g5 queen a5 check and c3 so this moves allow you uh, to make more control on the d4 square so rook uh, sorry bishop to d7 knight to b3 queen c7 and queen into d5 with definitely a plus equal position white is having a pawn up but uh, yeah after long castle uh, maybe i'll simply block this one white should be slightly better not much there is definitely much compensation for the pawn the most like uh, uh, rook h4 is so annoying here like i don't have any proper options here or uh, sometimes like um, bishop move somewhere yeah so position is slightly better for white not clearly even though it's a pawn up okay so uh, so d5 is a very interesting option the game goes into a wild complicated uh, opening after d5 so those who don't uh, know this opening they can have a surprise preparation with white pieces so h6 rook g1 is also one option or uh, without playing h4 and knight c6 okay all it comes to the same thing because your idea is to play g5 so if you like this opening uh, this is a uh, scavenger and keras attack we can say so this if you have any other doubts uh, in this particular opening just feel free to contact me i will definitely appreciate that if you like this video please please uh, leave the rating and uh, please subscribe okay so now coming to the next one it's the sicilian natchdorf it's a very big opening now so i'll just have uh, okay so knight into d
knight f6 knight c3 defending the pawn uh, not e6 sorry that is now a6 so a6 is Najdorf. Najdorf is a very 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 famous player so he invented uh, this move the main idea of uh, playing a6 is to play e5 and also e6 is also playable but for those who want to play attacking chess e5 looks much interesting so e5 uh, white cannot occupy anything on the b5 square either with the bishop or with the knight so after e5 now black should come back sorry sorry white should come back to the b3 or f3 so f3 is uh, okay these two are uh, somewhat uh, major openings only but i like knight b3 instead of playing knight f3 keeping an additional option of playing f4 okay now let us see so after uh, knight c4 those who don't like uh, this move they can try something like two variations one is bishop c4 one is bishop g5 so uh, i'm going to show you both the variations because i'm, I'm not going to allow uh, black to play e5 because i'm attacking player so bishop to let us say bishop to g5 and this is Roger attack Richard at Roger Bishop g5 now e5 is not possible because uh, most of us will have a doubt what if I play e5 there is no knight b5 but after e5 what happens is knight occupies the f5 square now yes what happens bishop into f5 I get two, two center pawns but that's not the case here after this I will just grab the knight on f6 attacking the queen and if queen captures then i will take the pawn on uh, sorry then i take the bishop on f5 and queen into f5 knight d5 now there are 100 holes in this position of uh, black black simply can't uh, allow this uh, move after knight d5 I think you can have a cup of tea and come. This position is so relaxed for white. There's so many attacks. Just for a one pawn, you have so many attacks here. Okay, so just uh, we'll come back. So knight f5, bishop into f5, bishop into f6. And if he takes g into f6, trying something like a, a Swiss Nico variation, then I'll take this one and yeah definitely d5 is not possible then i don't see how we can uh, uh, leave the control oh uh, sorry leave this d5 and play the game there is one more uh, interesting thing is uh, white can even try uh, opening g3 and bishop to g2 which occupies the d5 square and also the bishop is very strong on that long diagonal so knight f5 is definitely advantage so e5 is not playable so for attacking players now don't forget bishop g5 is one good option and next thing i'm going to come for bishop c4 where you cannot uh, still cannot play e5 i'll just show you about that so bishop g5 e6 okay coming to the main line so for attacking players don't hesitate to push f4 there are some moves like queen f3, queen d2, but this is so passive. Just go for an attack. f4, break that uh, center by playing e5. Threaten him something. So here we have again very important uh, variations like h6, knight bd7, queen c7, and finally queen b6, the poison pawn variation. Okay, so queen, uh, let us see the poison pawn variation first queen b6 don't defend this pawn by playing queen c1 or rook b1 this is too bad just move the queen if you don't want to give this pawn just you can move the knight to b3 but i don't like this move this is simple equal position after bishop e7 remember there is no queen e3 check because after queen e3 i can simply play queen e2 and positionally this position uh, 
white is definitely better than this end game white is definitely better because uh, my pieces play much stronger and most importantly the isolate the backward pawn on the d6 is a big thing okay so queen e3 is not a problem at all he'll simply play his normal game after bishop e7 so those who want to do, do some attack just play queen d2 and yes queen into b2 forced to take rook b1 queen here queen to a3 now there are a lot number of attacking moves f5 is possible one good option trying to make this uh, pawn a uh, little let us say f5 e5 is possible so let us start with f5 f5 and uh, taking this pawn is definitely a big mistake because i'll take bishop into f6 wow g into f6 and knight d5 this is a total lost i don't need to show anything about uh, uh, after knight d5 so you can't take so if you push this pawn uh this is that is another mistake because i'll take bishop into knight you can't take my pawn bishop can retrieve and take the pawn and you'll be left with a uh, d5 hole so g into forced then i'll play n d5 again the same idea of n c7 and yeah i don't know so if you take queen into a2 just more king f2 you can't take my rook here because bishop b5 check loses the queen so king f2 i'm going to save my king and yes again the knight c7 fork is uh, pretty much annoying so if uh, i can't defend even by moving the king here king to d8 is also pretty bad because i'll simply play queen c3 and enter the queen to c7 so if you try to block nc6 and nc6 is a wonderful opportunity for your knight because this is an attack and i'm going to move my away from the attack and uh, which also forces uh, some concession and now wow this is terrible this is a terrible position to play with black okay so as for uh, many of us know that uh, poison pawn is so dangerous but uh, none of us so clear what what happens exactly when you play poison pawn variation so f5 there is no e into f5 there is no e5 so what else is there something like knight c6 let us try something like knight c6 f e6 and uh, yeah if you say if you say like bishop into e6 then rook into b7 is also there and or else first i'll just grab this uh, bishop or even rook into b7 which is equally good so you should take with the pawn pawn into then knight into c6 b into c6 yes so here a uh, few games have been played with uh, e5 sacrificing this one and yeah moving the bishop doing castling somewhat rook into f6 is also some good tries okay so let us see with uh, bishop e2 uh sorry e5 let us start with e5 e5 d into e5 bishop into f6 g into f6 now you have the most difficult of all the positions in the dragon variation so if you get this position even uh, white simply loses a pieces for some kind of strange attacks the moves like knight e4 now for example the moves like uh, bishop e2 bishop e2 castles attacking on this one both looks so annoying here so for example bishop d3 uh bishop to g7 let us say rook to b3 attacking the queen so in this entire uh, variation knight to e4 so knight e4 f5 is coming i'm sorry for that okay so 
yeah let us say knight e4 this looks more interesting for me because directly i'm threatening f6 so if he defends by playing bishop to e7 uh, then i might play something like uh, bishop e2 castle and yeah now rook b3 this is so clear i'm not worried about the pawn now i have so many things that that need to settle on the king's position so if you take the a to this terrible mistake rook g3 is gone i think rook g3 king h8 are simply to castling joining one more rook into attack so f5 is one more big mistake i'll just throw this queen at six queen g7 mate yeah rook g rook uh, g8 also can't stop because knight f6 there are so many checkmates here and yeah so after rook b3 yes castle rook check and yeah this should be clearly advantage for white and let us consider one more variation so e5 is not so uh, losing for uh, black black should play the accurate most to defend here after bishop f6 gf6 now i'll I will definitely say black is still equal because uh, there is no real big threat from white side. Once only if you can allow something like knight e4, rook b3, rook g3, rook f3, something like that, then it might be creating some problem. So let us say knight e4, queen a2. Directly here I will take queen a2, knight f6 check, king f7 attacking, then, then rook d1. Don't need to be worried about this knight loss because this is uh, very bad because i'll simply sacrifice the knight to make the king open bishop d3 now castling and queen enters wow queen rook bishop both are now checkmating the king queen d5 retreating the king queen castling king e7 yeah definitely queen g5 should be winning for uh, Right. I'll just discover this bishop so I, at least I get a queen here. King uh, e8, uh, bishop e2, and the idea of bishop h5 attacking the queen. So this is very good. So the chances of making mistakes are pretty high in the in this poison bond variation for black. So for those who are playing uh, this for the first time, please try to uh, prepare this opening very well. There are many moves even I am missing right now, but uh, I hope I will try to fix that in the later classes. Okay, so bishop, uh, yeah, knight c6, so let us see. So e5, uh, yeah, so if uh, without capturing, you can play something like knight d5, which don't allow him to capture bishop into f6. But I don't know about this one. Knight into d5, c into d5. I'll simply play. Uh, bishop maybe e2. Because I just gain one more here. I don't know. D into e5. Because I don't want to take this uh, d into e6. Allowing his bishop to come outside faster and do castling. So d into e5. Let it be. Uh, I'll just do castling makes the position slow for uh, black rook a7 defending uh, some key squares then this should be very good c4 supporting and also creating some weaknesses so if you push d4 then yes uh, i don't know bishop h5 maybe is winning yes bishop h5 g6 i'll just play rook b8 and queen c5 and queen f2 there are many ways to win here if you take this one i'll just play queen f6 queen check and yeah so there are very uh, interesting variations in this uh, line especially when uh, white is having so good open files king is very risky so the players who have practiced tactics or do tactical variations like tactical positions should de definitely accept the uh, poison pawn variation 
okay so so let us uh, talk about bishop e2 now e5 is uh, i can say black is slightly better but more chances of playing mistakes is for black only so any mistake uh, white is white pieces are definitely uh, going to checkmate the king or at least you get you'll do the heavy material okay so bishop uh, e2 let us consider bishop e2 bishop e7 castle castle rook b3 uh, queen c5 check bishop e3 i don't want to lose a move queen e5 blocking that uh, and bishop f4 so this is one game where ended in a draw uh, this game is played long back if i remember correctly so queen c5 if you don't want if you don't want to play for a draw just uh, move the king to h1 and uh, yeah there is no clear plan for here bishop d7 is being played h6 is played to attack the bishop and yeah rook f7 rook k7 these are all our uh, pretty logical ideas here so let us start with h6 bishop e3 queen e5 and bishop d4 and now you see queen uh, has been attacked for so many times and after queen g5 bishop e3 again repeats the same moves but queen into g5 h into g5 and e5 yeah, this should uh, create a lot of isolated pawns and d into e5 bishop into e5 this looks pretty much equal for me but uh, chances for white are pretty bright because of uh, isolated so many and this bishop is having very good future in almost all, all diagonals d3 is also good just yeah rook in both the open files operating the third rank positionally this is equal but uh, practically i can say white might try something better okay so um, so this is about uh, okay so f5 a great uh, attacking uh, idea move so one thing we can try f5 e into f5 is not there e5 is not there so f5 for those who want to play for f5 they can just uh, see this and they can uh, play this let us consider about e5 i really don't like this e5 because that uh, really gives black some enough defense i guess so e5 first thing uh, there are some good interesting moves what about d into e5 d into e5 is a later developed after computers uh, came but most of uh, grandmasters knows the line of playing h6 only so d into e5 is the uh, most preferred computer mode d into e5 f into e5 knight moves to the d7 square knight f d7 then knight e4 uh, and yeah queen into a2 rook g1 yeah black is losing so many pawns but i don't know where the, some tactics might be coming uh, suddenly for white so queen e3 can't give up that queen into e5 also bishop f4 wow so many pawns down three pawns down and i don't know position still looks like uh, unclear position should be unclear because if you can just give it for the computer that definitely says black is uh, better but playing practically with this position with uh, black is is definitely very very hard see for example uh, um, now where you're going to move any piece see for example if i say knight c6 trying to attack one exchange piece yeah knight into c6 b into c6 uh, then maybe knight d6 check bishop d6 who would like to play 
uh, king in the center in this position still maybe black is better off because of three extra pawn but i don't see any clear advantage this bishop simply dominates the board okay so that depends only on the choice of how uh, white and black continues and so for example if you say something like uh, b5 which is somewhat very bad because knight f5 so this tactics tactical chances might miss queen is now blocked to capture this i have hundreds of discovered attacks if you capture this yeah there are high possibility that uh, black might seriously commit an error here so poison pawn variation uh, this is about poison pawn variation and we will see some other variations in this one after uh, yeah queen a2 rook okay you can try to block that queen's uh, paths by playing even rook b3 rook b3 and if you try queen a1 check is not something very good here because king is definitely not going to castle here i'm going to put my king to f2 only okay so let us say queen here and uh, king f2 and here we don't have anything to attack here i'll just play h6 bishop to f4 defending this one and yeah so let us say so just uh, imagine this position if you are white if you are black and you don't find any right move here how difficult it is to play this opening this like uh, so queen a4 is somewhat the only try because and my bishop is coming outside with an attack that might create some problem not immediately so queen a4 maybe then rook c3 how is going to defend knight b6 bishop uh, e2 i don't know bishop to b4 uh, then i'll just play rook b1 rook b1 bishop into c3 knight into c3 knight b3 such a great uh, piece play even three pawns and also an exchange down this position should be better for white it's definitely better even after coming bishop to e3 knight e4 something like that so knight b3 uh, queen b4 uh, so again say knight d4 so yeah, actually queen is uh, pretty bad here rook into b6 is going now okay so i can't defend this one so bishop b2 bishop b4 rook b1 still this position is if that perpetual queen attack is there this position should be equal okay so d into e5 yeah f into e5 creates more complications like white uh, also will be uh, having some problems some risky chances are there for both the players but i seriously recommend uh, to play f5 the old theory f5 no weaknesses nothing and with the aggressive pieces this looks more uh, entertaining for white so this is about the poison pawn variation and now we are going to come for a queen c oh sorry first knight bd7 i can't double the pawns on the f6 so knight bd7 just defending everything now queen here so white is uh, pretty aggressive here he doesn't want to lose anything so he'll just play Uh, move like queen f3, which is so interesting. So queen f3, the line continues uh, with g4. Bishop takes and uh, g5 attacking something. What you have placed on the g5, gaining one extra tempo here. So important. So queen c7. 
and long castle now immediately you can't do anything uh, by playing uh, bishop into knight but you should wait here bishop into knight into so if it takes this one there is a trap of bishop into b5 and yeah a into b5 knight uh, d into b5 and queen b8 and knight d6 this is pretty easy to play with uh, white i'll just play king anyway king e7 e5 is also trapping that uh, bishop so yes to say king f8 e5 bishop e7 knight c8 knight c8 queen c8 then rook king to d7 Whoa. okay so hmm, so bishop in 2 is not possible for those who don't know this trap knight in 2 then yeah g5 knight comes back and f5 giving this pawn with a check uh, is also okay because i have some other counter chances after the uh, queen coming to h5 pinning the pawn getting chance something like knight e6 so bishop into g5 king b1 knight uh, e5 queen h5 and queen d8 uh, playing h4 attacking the bishop bishop comes back to the f6 and f into e6 castle bishop h3 this is all complete line so i'm just going little fast for those who have any doubt just pause that and uh, you can have analysis and if you have any doubt in my analysis just uh, read note down the time and just po post the commentaries where i i'll just try to get your doubts cleared so f into then bishop into e6 you can't capture knight into e6 is f4 king h8 is the one we know then knight g5 is definitely a black better position for white because now i'm threatening knight into f6 I have one more idea of uh, knight c6 where you can see later knight c4 and knight c6 queen e8 is the only move and just believe or not this, so far uh, this till this move there are many grandmasters uh, played this opening and knight into f6 pawn into and bishop into f c4 b into c4 rook into d6 rook into here and uh, this is clearly better because of uh, white's good king and also good connected past pawns and yeah so from this position uh, i i myself played one game bishop b7 i started play h4 h sorry h5 and h6 trapping this king doubling the rook on the f file and keeping this threat so i won like that and one game i won by playing uh, h5 h6 and rook uh, g1 to g7 double the rooks on the seventh rank and i want that one game so i feel like this is white good for uh, white and uh, there should be something changed here so i think knight c4 is not so accurate here you can try something like bishop to b7 but still i will simply play uh, rook uh, rook df1 maybe rook d f1 queen e8 queen d1 and uh, yeah queen uh, yeah no. bishop into d5 for example uh, bishop into d5 rook c8 yes so this looks for me white is uh, still having a very good position because of knight e6 knight c6 knight f5 and also the bad king on the h8 square where he cannot move anywhere i definitely prefer white's position here okay so let us go back uh, completely till the move yes so wow queen f3 yes bishop g5 and yes
So if he plays uh, directly queen c7, just grab the knight on f6, g into then uh, then there are two options, mainly two options. All the two moves with the queen only. Queen d2 is a regular move where you can find uh, in many openings queen d2 and you can find queen f3 and queen d3 also. But I strongly recommend to play queen d2 itself because that's more uh, concrete here so knight c6 uh, so here uh, 3 says like uh, long castle is a very good option but after uh, this a uh, small trade uh, I don't know like I'll just show you long castle uh, bishop d7 for example king b1 because this bishop is somewhat uh, problem in all the cases so i'll just move my king now itself knight d4 queen d4 bishop e7 now i don't know how white is having white is definitely better because of uh, good pawn structure and sebe maybe good castle king but i don't know how clearly white can take the advantage in this position black is black should wait here in this position to take any kinds of advantage so the moves like directly you can say like f5 f5 is there but uh, what you what you are really threatening is simply defending that one uh, i might i might try something like queen c5 to trade off the queens from the board and once the queens are uh, left there is no more advantage for white so i should maintain the queens and in fact black is better after having good pawn structure in the center so queen c5 is a good option should go back uh, maybe say queen d2 then yeah you can also go long castle position is still slightly better and we can't really keep a good analysis in this position because uh, there are multiple options here uh, i can say hundreds of options here no options are uh, not so clear every option will be definitely a new game from there so bishop into f6 leads to somewhat unclear positions with plus equal position definitely okay mm. so queen c7 we saw poison pawn variation and what else yeah here if someone plays h6 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 what is the move so whenever uh, in your positions when you play the same opening with white i i definitely recommend you to uh, if you feel any interesting position just pause that position for few moments and analyze that position that really improves your skills up to many much extent so here uh, the line is bishop h4 but bishop f6 has also been tried and uh, have a good success even in bishop into f6 also but bishop h4 is much option i don't want to simply give the bishop double bishop advantage qb6 now queen d2 the same thing same repeat the same poison pawn variation goes okay so let us go back and uh, uh for those who definitely like the poison pawn variation uh, uh you just need to see one game of uh, paski versus fisher where uh, fisher is playing black and took the pawn on b3 spaski on the board find some brilliant moves uh, uh, to trap the queen on uh, b2 so that is one of the best game of spaski to beat fisher Okay, so here uh, even knight b3 is one good try, trying to uh, cut off this queen away from this game for a while, and yeah, this this is also quite a playable line. So you need to have more uh, analysis on these positions. Okay.
okay so for a6 sorry for uh, a6 now what we are going to see yes yes bishop c4 wow so as uh, as i told you before bishop g5 is one good option and bishop c4 is like completely tactical variations so those who play complete tactics those who are not afraid of any pieces loss any pawns loss they just want to attack the king this variations this variation will be really a good fun for them so after bishop uh, c4 ah okay so here you you might have the regular dog what if i play e5 and the obvious answer is to play knight f5 knight f5 bishop into f5 yes uh, e into f5 you have a good control on the d5 square still that's very good so if you say queen c8 attacking both then i don't have any problem defending both and if you still attack by playing something like b5 i'll just move back bishop to b3 and this is okay so knight f5 is uh, now the main the main concern here is uh, not to capture the bishop here so the other idea is to uh, this bishop will be very strong so if you don't close it e6 i might have some sacrifices on f7 later not now so bishop c4 and yes e6 immediately bishop to b3 no waiting at all because some sacrifice might come where uh, i was forced to give up the center control with open diagonals for opponent bishops no i am not going to give so bishop b3 immediately no counter chances of b5 or uh, knight e4 d5 so e6 bishop b3 and yeah immediately what you can play b5 so b5 knight bd7 these are the two main options so even from black i'll definitely show the attacking moves b5 short castle long castle we don't have that much time bishop e7 so attacking players do really attack queen f3 opening up the queen's path to attack the rook on a8 like this and queen b6 no capturing because bishop b7 traps somewhat the queen knight c6 castle bishop b7 traps the queen bishop e3 qb7 and queen g3 so this same variation uh, you can see some uh, very important games played by uh, gary kasparov the same variation uh, i think he played one game with uh, boris gelfand very strong grandmaster from israel you watch that game where gary kasparov develops his bishop directly to the h6 after doing castling playing making him to play knight e8 that's a very nice tactical game in the same variation so what are some uh, here i think he played queen uh, maybe c7 i guess oh sorry queen f3 and i think queen c7 is the move gary uh, boris gelfand played queen here castling yeah this is a variation bishop h6 knight e8 uh, rook a d1 bringing all the pieces into the game pretty fast uh, bishop d7 and if i remember kasparov played uh, uh, knight c e2 i guess knight c e2 i don't know knight f3 yes this is move knight f3 and knight c6 bishop f4 and positions would be slightly better for white not exactly clearly it looks like uh, white pieces are so dominant but uh, black can still uh, defend any kinds of attack here okay so okay let us come back we have okay so so bishop c4 so this is a slow slow strategical uh, 
advantage right i'll just play knight a rook d1 now white can slowly being built up all the pieces towards the king side to get attack on the other hand uh, black immediately tries to crush this bishop on uh, this one once this bishop is moved something like a3 if you go for defensive uh, black might try to capture all the queen side and gain the game so this is a very unclear opening uh, with more advantage uh, with no more advantage for both the players i say like slightly better for white because of uh, some attacking chance on the king that's what i can say you can give slightly plus equal or even i can say it as equal position for both the players okay so this is about bishop c4 there is nothing much about bishop c4 the all the moves that white is going to play are pretty forced so let us try knight bd7 and uh, what comes here comes our move f4 knight c5 directly targeting the e4 f5 and yes this is a gambit you need to learn in this one knight e4 why he is sacrificing the pawn so if it takes knight e4 f e6 and uh, yeah f into e6 knight into e4 because if you don't take it's a check now so you can't take knight c3 so knight into e4 knight into e4 and castling wow what can you expect uh, better than preventing castling just for your pawn advantage so queen uh, okay anything moves like anything knight c5 are uh, trying to capture this bishop still i don't mind bishop e3 i'll just get everything get outside fast <coughs> queen c7 queen g4 oh. mm, triple attack on the e6 so if you take knight uh, here knight e6 is first i think yes queen attack so you can't move queen here because rook into f8 is very dangerous rook into f8 and knight g7 escapes this one king uh, sorry king moves then bishop b6 check he is finished if you place king uh, to sorry if you place king to d7 sorry knight g7 king d7 oh sorry king d7 is not possible sorry king uh, e8 bishop b6 check wins okay so knight e6 uh, bishop e6 queen e6 uh queen e7 queen b3 and i don't think uh, there is anything left to analyze this position as white uh, white is having his dream run simply dream run castling long rook f7 i think no one should analyze this one this thing after that rook f7 okay so knight c5 knight e4 is pretty very very much dangerous to take so knight into e4 knight into e4 knight into e4 castles so here we can just leave this position anything that continues with black is so dangerous now uh, let us try to block this one knight f6 which looks so easy for me we have into e6 um yeah over it's just over i don't need to analyze anything just few moves to escape but uh, yeah everything is under control king d7 i'll just take rook f6 g into f6 and queen g4 so if some tactical players like to play this uh this thing should win okay so bishop c4 so those who want to analyze more about uh, any of this sicilian openings with white just uh, make sure that you note down because it's a long video i'm doing
Okay, so yeah, knight c5, f5. So f5 definitely f5. So if you place bishop e7 instead of capturing all this, I'll simply move my queen f3, castles, bishop e3, and e5, knight e2, and knight into b3, a b3, b5. I'll just simply do castling. Oops, I gotta feel like something is really wrong. Yeah. Yeah, so uh queen f3. No 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 one second. Yes. If we place uh yeah f4 knight c5 we played f5 right f5 bishop e7 okay castle not queen f3 you don't need to play queen f3 castle e5 uh, knight d2 bishop to d7 bishop g5 or bishop e3 covering up the mistakes bishop c6 knight g3 h5 and bishop into c5 bd into c5 we need to sorry we need to is very bad because h4 is coming now starting this night Okay, so bishop d5, this is somewhat interesting. h4, knight h1. And yeah, h3, g3. But line hands uh, this move. After e5, knight f3, castles, queen e2. Here bishop e3, knight b3, c b3. So rook a d1, just leaving after uh, having some weakness on the pawn structure. Bishop into f5 and finally knight into e5. So this is very nice. D into e5, rook into f5. f6, king h1, getting away from all the attacks rook d8 queen g4 so practical chance of playing this with white is much simpler because i have clear advantage clear attacking ideas on the king side okay so what i more i played no 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 so here after e5 knight comes to f3 castle queen e2 h6 bishop e3 knight b3 and c b3 you you don't even often see this kind of moves but uh, to operate the rules on the open file this is good b5 rook d1 and nd5 after nd5 ed5 Bishop f5, n e5, d5, rook e5. This should be equal. Equal chances for both the players. So this is about uh, bishop c4. Sicilian bishop c4. Okay, so this is uh, the complete video of uh, the Sicilian. I'm, uh, if I miss any of the sublines if i analyze anything uh, any dubious lines please let me know i'll just uh, try to correct myself and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and leave comments uh, thank you for watching this video hope you enjoy see you in the next video bye